record sales days where dispensaries were selling out, people were stocking up. We saw, you know, an uptick anywhere from 13 to sometimes up to 200% increase in edible purchases. You know, we saw a bigger increase in edibles, frankly, than in flower sales. And a lot of people are just attributing that to not wanting to necessarily, you know, smoke or do something with your lungs in the current environment. Today on Cannabis and Corona, we're talking with about cannabis manufacturing with Jamie Pearson, the CEO of Bank Corporation. Jamie, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Well, I appreciate you being with us today because I, and I suspect you're swamped. I also have to say that with all the craziness, uh, it is comforting to know that Bang is still producing high quality infused products. So thank you. Thank you very much. We are really happy to be in the cannabis industry right now and so many other industries you know, are shut down and we feel for those, you know, Americans that are out of work, we're happy that cannabis has been deemed essential. Obviously, just from the the standpoint of keeping all of our employees employed and working from home and, you know, doing what they need to do to, to feed their families, but also providing what we consider an essential product to America. Yeah. So we feel fortunate to be in the industry right about now. For our listeners that aren't familiar with Bang, even though it's many places a household name, it's a public company. And you're trading on the CSE under symbol BHNG and on the OTC under symbol BHNGF. You know, you've been around for over like 10 years so it's one of the one of the I would refer to as the grandfather of the infused cannabis. It really, it's seriously in ten years you're talking. Well, there's not that many of us. Yeah, we no. we call ourselves the OG cannabis brand because we were definitely there when all of this started, putting good quality, safe, consistent dosed edibles into the marketplace with nutritional fact panels and product liability insurance. One of the things we're known for is we've been testing our bars end to end before they ever hit the shelf. So we were doing lab testing before lab testing was required. And when you take a segment of bang and you're looking for a certain number of milligrams, whether you get it from this side of the bar or that side of the bar, you you are 100% guaranteed that that dose is going to be consistent. The entire industry owes you a debt of gratitude just for the, the work that you've done to move this industry forward. You talked about cannabis dispensaries being deemed essential, which is, you know, on so many levels just is epic. But How did that impact your business? Well, you know, what an irony to go from, really, we're still existing in prohibition. Cannabis is still federally illegal. So it's an irony that we've been deemed essential in every single state where cannabis exists and yet are not essential enough, apparently, to tap into the the dollars that will keep our businesses open. How that's impacted Bang specifically We operate in seven U.S. states right now, and we're also the number one and number two selling edible in Canada. Um, You know, as far as North America is concerned, we're one of the most widely distributed brands. What we really are seeing is demand for our product. We had record sales days where dispensaries were selling out. People were stocking up. We saw an uptick anywhere from 13 to sometimes up to 200% increase (laughs) in edible purchases. We saw a bigger increase in edibles, frankly, than in flower sales. And, you know, a lot of people are just attributing that to not wanting to necessarily, you know, smoke or do something with your lungs in the current environment. The sales surge, I mean, that had to be, you know, a nice surprise considering most industries were experiencing just the opposite, except maybe if you're in the toilet paper industry. But (laughs) (laughs) unlike the toilet paper industry, even though you saw a nice surge, I don't suspect you're going to see that dip. I'm going to use the same amount of toilet paper, whether I'm in a crisis or not, but I suspect that I'm staying home. I'm probably going to be using more product, especially if I have it. Well, we definitely hope so times of, of stress like this, I can't think of something better than a product that's going to help people, you know, manage stress. Now, I'm not making a medical claim. I'm just telling you this is what our consumers tell us they use the products for. I think deeming it essential was really smart to keep relief off of our medical facilities because they are, you know, clearly being overtaxed as it is. 
anyway, what yeah. we're doing on the bank side of things, you know, to your point, is we are trying to make it really simple for the delivery services and the dispensaries to get access to product. And we're trying to gear some of our marketing efforts to making their lives easier. Everything up to this point had been geared toward that in-store patient appreciation day type experience. So those are more kind of face-to-face -face experiences. And now there's a lot of companies like ours that are putting some time and effort and money into developing online resources where consumers can go online and either purchase online and have the product delivered or get some dosing information. One of the things we're doing, for example, is DJ Muggs, you know, the legendary yeah, sure. DJ from Cypress Hill. He's been putting together Spotify playlists for the COVID experience. So if you're stuck at home and you want to have a very cool playlist to play while you're using Bang Chocolate, you can go on Spotify and look for the Bang playlist by DJ Muggs. It's so good. It's great. You guys are related, right? Yeah, he's my cousin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really exciting to have. I mean, everybody kind of pitching in to, to help us remain calm and carry on use of Vank's products. Um, we've been speaking with Jamie Pearson from Bang Corporation, and we will have all their information on the show notes and at mjbulls.com, including their stock ticker information and their symbols. And by the way, if you want more information about their stock, there's an investment tab on their website. Jamie, thanks for being on the show. And also, thanks so much for being such a good example of a CEO leading a cannabis company through a crisis. We, we need people like you just to show us how it's done. Thank you so much, Dan. I think we realize that these times that are, that are stressful for all of us are also opportunities. And, you know, we at Bang, we see this as an opportunity to show the world that there's a lot of good and a lot of positive in the midst of all of this. And I just appreciate the opportunity to talk about it. Well, we'll have you back on again when, when we see the other side of this. 